ferris wheel is an amusement ride consisting of rotating upright wheel with multiple passenger carrying components hello friends welcome to my lab in this video i will show you the power transmission the clutch pulley assembly idler wheel assembly and braking and acceleration of the ferry wheel or merry go round if you love my video please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends let's switch on A huge amount of power is required to drive the giant wheel. The main power source of the giant wheel is a 10 horsepower diesel engine. You can see a separate water pump is coupled with the engine by the V-belt. The purpose of using the water pump is to circulate the water from engine to barrel and barrel to engine continuously for cooling. The driver shaft of the engine is transmitting the mechanical power to the driven shaft of the ferry's wheel through the cross belt drive mechanism. The belt is made up of flat leather or fabric. To create an effective frictional grip on the pulley, belts must be installed with substantial tension. Now a question arises why the cross belt drive is used? And the answer is the higher velocity ratio large amount of power can be transmitted through the drive and the angle of contact is more for the cross belt drive so there is a less chance of slipping of the pulley for creating more friction between the belt and pulley the operator applying some wax on the pulley wheel from the foul noise you can understand there is a more friction is creating on the pulley wheel now let's discuss the clutch mechanism of the drive please look carefully actually there are two pulleys one is connected with the engine through the cross belt drive that is called the driver pulley and the another pulley is called the driven pulley which transfer the power to the third pulley through the v belt the operator is just moving the flat belt between the two pulleys using the clutch lever when the speed is required to be increased then the maximum portion of the belt is to be moved to the driven pulley and when it is required to be reduced the speed then the maximum portion of the belt is to be kept on the driver pulley. Like this the mechanical power is transferred from the driver pulley to the driven pulley and the speed is controlled. The driven pulley is transferring the power to the another pulley through the V-belt. The pulley is coupled with an idler wheel in the same shaft. You can see this is the idler wheel and these two are the output wheels. The idler wheel transferring the power to the two output wheels and the output wheels rotate the giant wheel. Now a question arises: what is the idler wheel? To know the idler wheel you must have to know the function of the idler gear. The idler gear is nothing but a part of friction drive mechanism. The gear which serve only to transmit the rotation from one shaft to another. The idler gear is a gear which placed between two other gears to transmit the motion from one to another. It does not affect the speed of the output. It is used to ensure that the rotation of the two gear is same. The idler gear rotates in the opposite direction as driven gear. In this application, the idler gear is replaced by idler wheel with two output wheels that is called the driven wheel. All the wheels are actually the reused motorbike wheels with rubber tire. We know that the rubber can give more friction so it is used. And there are two driven wheel which covers more contact area and requires less amount of pressure. Now let's discuss the braking arrangement of the system. The braking arrangement is very simple. The flat belt is to be removed from the driven pulley to cut the mechanical power supply to the ride and the brake lever is pulled. The brake lever is connected with brake band. When the lever is pulled, then the brake band creates friction and stops the driven pulley. From the given figure, you can understand the system easily. Now you can see the brake is applied fully and the ferris wheel is stopped. You can see there is an orange segment. Under the orange segment, the brake band is placed. When the ride is to be run, then the operator release the brake lever and shift the flat belt from driver pulley to the driven pulley. 
द स्पीड इज इजीली कंट्रोल्ड बाय जस्ट शिफ्टिंग द बेल्ट सो फ्रॉम नाउ बिफोर राइडिंग दिस फेरीज व्हील रिमेम्बर द मेकानिजम ऑफ द जॉइंट व्हील स्टेट ट्यून्ड विथ अस जॉय हिंद जॉय भारत